This is one of my favourite corners of the Pensthorpe estate. Now, to you and me, this looks like a very lovely pond. But to Mike here, it's a pingo. That's absolutely right. What is right. a pingo, Mike? Well, during the last ice age, this site was probably a uh, freshwater spring. Right. And the water pushed the soil up, forming a mm -hmm. slight mound. Mm -hmm. That froze, and when the ice receded, the, the mound imploded, causing a little crater. So it collapsed effectively. Yep, that's right. Right. It filled up with water. There's your pingo. So actually what we're looking at here is something that's the same age as the end of the last ice age, which was what, about 12,000 years ago? Yes, I wasn't around to remember it. But yes. <laughs> and it's home to one of Britain's most exciting amphibians. Absolutely right. The Great Crested Newt. Now I know you've been out having a look at them for us. Are we able to have a, a closer look? We, we can. Brilliant. What we have here are two females and a male. Let's see so I don't know whether you've got, got the boy or the girl. I'm going to see. Well, you can test me and see if I'm right. Well, first of all, let's just admire because that really is a beautiful, beautiful animal. Look at that face. I think they do look almost prehistoric, they don't they? They do. And they're beautifully marked. They've got these wonderful uh, white spots on the chin and on the thorax. OK, I'm going to turn you over now just to show off that beautiful orange belly. Now, I would say this one is a female, Mike, because of that very distinct orange bar on the bottom of her tail there. Ten out of ten. Yeah, yeah. absolutely right. Now, the, the confusing thing, of course, we're calling them great, which they are. They're large and pretty great as animals in mm -hmm. general. But crested, they don't seem to be at the moment. Well, the male has a crest during the, the breeding season, uh, but we're just past that now. Right. And the crest and the um, extra width on the tail is absorbed after uh, breeding. So they're great crested newts without crests just at the moment. <laughs> so if you find one of these glorious creatures in your garden pond, because you're just as likely to find it there or a sort of urban ditch or all sorts of places, aren't Absolutely you? You don't need right. an Ice Age pingo uh, dead right. to, to, to bring these wonderful things in. But celebrate it, because they are rare, they're highly protected, and I think you can really see why they're so special.